So since this is a 64-bit installation, we have to edit the Pac-Man configuration file. So again, we're still in text-based, so no desktop interface yet. So nano, Etsy, Pac-Man. Don't forget, you can press tab dot c on app. On this page down on your keyboard, press the page down button. Where it says multi-lib, not testing, just multi-lib. Just take out the two, press delete, those two uh, pound signs. I'll just page up and just for fun, where it has uh, color, you can uncomment that, press enter, and type I, L, O, capital L, capital I, capital L, and then O, V, E, capital C, A, N, D, Y. Same thing, control O, control X. And then we'll just the arrow key and do our sync, Pac-Man sync again. And see we have our little Pac-Man going there. And we should have multi-lib enabled. So now to get uh, things up and running as far as uh, visual and audio, uh, we may need more stuff from Pac-Man. So Pac-Man, let's get the visual stuff. Uh, Zorg is the main server, dash D-E-V-E-L as well, okay? And press enter. And in this case, we can just leave it as Mesa LibGL. Even if you install um, the latest NVIDIA line of cards or an older legacy one, it will uninstall Mesa LibGL anyway. So just press enter, basically, and proceed with the installation. All right. Now for basic audio support, we'll get uh, Pac-Man-Capital-S, Alsa-Utils. And uh, true type font TTF dash day vu. And same thing, just press enter and let it download and install. Run also mixer and um, you'll see something like this. And where it has master, just press M and then page up for the full thing. But uh, it'll fail because uh, I haven't enabled any kind of audio, but that shouldn't happen to you. Since you're on VirtualBox, you're going to have to install VirtualBox Guest Utils, and this is where you can install NVIDIA or AMD, okay? But in my case, it's going to be VirtualBox Guest Utils. All right, so we're getting there. Um, so now it says you may want to. Well, I strongly suggest you do this um, in VirtualBox is uh, load these modules. Okay, if nothing comes back, that means it's happy. <clears throat> now, if we want these loading at startup, because that's it's only going to keep the modules loaded while the system is running. When you reboot, they're going to be unloaded. So, we have to edit another file with nano. Etsy modules. Dash load dot D, and then the name virtualbox, or the file name virtualbox dot C-O-N-F. And just type in vbox guests as we did. For mod probe, module probe, vbox sf, and vbox video, and write out and quit. Now, um, with NVIDIA cards, and I'm not sure about AMD anymore, but uh, if you try to this, start X, it probably won't work, but it should work with VirtualBox. And it does. So there's our basic, uh, there's a really basic uh, desktop interface. Okay, so just go over to this first window here and type exit to get out of here. Okay, so let's add a user. So it's um, user add dash small m dash small g users dash capital G. And uh, right now we'll just put in wheel. There's more. And then just an S a dash s slash bin slash bash and your username whatever you want to call yourself uh, make sure it's no capitals or anything just small case and then you just uh, type in password psd for that username and you've added a user okay and then um Give uh, the user administrative rights. So we're going to type in editor equals nano 
and then V I S U D oh, yeah V I pseudo and I'll page right down to the bottom go up you have two choices uh, depending on the way you want to use this is percent well actually there's more choices but the ones I use are either percent wheel all equals all or percent wheel all uh, no password all so I'm going to uncomment that one okay and then uh, just write that out and control exit so I think we're done with the administrative part so we just type exit in for the administrator and we'll log in as our new user Use your password now when we want to synchronize or install anything we have to type the word sudo before anything so sudo pacman dash capital s y y okay and you notice it didn't prompt for a password that was the only difference now moving on from here it's your choice uh, there's a ton of desktop environments or GE <laughs> a lot of people refer to just desktop environments you can choose from GNOME XFCE cinnamon to open box you can have like or Kden, um, KDE or plasma next or whatever it's going to be called and so like a full-blown everything desktop to something very simple like open box so I usually I'm running XFCE but let's try uh, GNOME so if you want the full GNOME experience just type in sudo pacman dash capital s g n o m e that's it that's all you have to do and press enter verify what you want and 1.2 gigs or so once it's installed so i'll let this uh run through all right so that's a lot of uh um, application installed uh, if you want to get an idea of how much space it's being used uh, i'll clear the screen just type in df just read dash h to hash that so it's not so complicated so device stb1 it's using almost three gigabytes which is nothing in today's terms just to be sure is type in sudo system uh, ctl enable gdm dot service okay I, I don't think it was enabled okay so after that we just type sudo reboot and don't forget the uh, f12 key so here it is the gnome login manager and your, it has your username there's a this be your sessions gnome classic gnome waylands but we're just going to use gnome as it is so just type in your password and press enter now it's probably a bit slower on uh, virtual box there you go your activities uh, there's a whole bunch of programs a calculator a webcam program instant messenger chat program a system monitor um, a terminal and your files which is uh, called Nautilus or it's just called files now and there's your Arch Linux uh, CD-ROM just right click on that and select eject I think that pretty much covers most of it uh, how to do a boot and uh, if you want to erase the disk uh, with Arch Linux on it, the beauty is Windows won't care, <laughs> right? Because it's on a separate disk and Grub is on a separate disk. All right. So that should do it for this one. And thank you very much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.